All right, I'm going to be painting a lure here. It's a uh, 2.5. Um, just going to just do a random paint job to see how it turns out. So I went ahead and painted it white. I filed it. So I like to do a little file job here on this because it's got like this rough stuff from the uh, factory. So I like to file here, here, and if you look at the nose, the nose itself is a little offset, so I file that. And then I take this green uh, pad here, and I just, you know, after I file it, do that to get it all nice and smooth on here. Went ahead and painted it white, taped the bill just to save some time. All right, so I got some fabric here for scale. Um, I got this from your local fabric store. Uh, I like to do six lures at a time, but obviously I'm going to edit the video to where we only have one. Save you time. All right, so first colors I'm going to start with is the Wicket Pearl Lime Green Iridescence. Whatever that is. And then the uh, Iridescence Electric Blue. Bear with me, I'm dyslexic, so certain words just don't get. All right, so let's start with the lime green, and then what I'm gonna do is, so we're gonna paint this up nice and easy. Get to the tail. All right, got the uh, lure painted all pearl lime green. So I'm gonna dry it off and then I'm gonna put the wrap over top of it and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna take this wrap now. I'm gonna wrap it over the lure. I'm stick it in this hole here. Draw it down. Ideally, you'd like to take it and uh, run it through the other hook eyelid up here, but we don't have that option. So now I'm just taking it and folding it over the bill, putting the clip on. I'm going to take it and fold it down. So I cut a lot of excess, so I just want to trim her down some real quick to where we can hook our clips on. Try not to shake this table too much. This way it's not all wobbly. So now I'm pinching it. So there's a fine line when you do over tighten versus tighten. Uh, I tend to over tighten it all the time with this. And then I end up scratching the paint and then I have to do touch up work. So, you know, I'm, I'm slowly learning to just be gentle, not over tighten and all that because you know you you don't want to just on so now normally a lot of times depending on your process that you want to do <clears throat> excuse me you can you would want to paint this white or whatever but i'm going for a certain image so i'm not painting that white back what i was saying normally you'd want to paint this white to get your other colors to come through but I'm going for a certain look with this and uh, what I want to do is blend in the these paints to create a uh, color transition um, with some scales so hopefully it's tight enough to where when I peel it off you'll see just as the faintness of the green lime green and I'm gonna use this line here as a boundary point to know when to stop. So this way, I don't go down here because I want the belly to be lime green. I see a little tight, there we go. Um, so, let's put in the old iridescence. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the top and I'm gonna hold it in a slight angle to allow it to feather down or fan itself down, however you wanna call it. So I'm gonna do it kind of thick here, you know, like a good coat, but allow it to fan itself down with this color. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna coat it nice up here on the top. Now I'm holding it in a slight angle like that to get it to What I'm also trying to do is get it to spread down into here as well. So you're gonna bear with me here. I'm gonna be blocking it. So now I'm holding the brush in a slight angle. You want it to be matched. See, I'm going for that line right there. Okay. Don't forget the tail. All right, let's get that nose. All right. All right, now you can see where I went and used this to where I was a good stopping point. So you got the lime green and you can still see it fading into the light blue into it. Same with the other side, light green, fade it down. All right, got everything dried up with the hair dryer. Getting ready to do the blue code. It's going to be electric blue. All right, here we go. So what I'm gonna do here is just the top and then I'm gonna fade it down just over the edge. But we'll see how it goes. All right. All right, see that? Now we're gonna go down on the edge. Slight angle, not too much. So now we're going half the distance with the fading. Now I'm gonna hold it this more straight on to get it to go down into this gill pattern a little bit, or a scale pattern, sorry. All right. Get the face. Get the little tail. All right. Got a nice slight transition. With the face, the tail. All right, let's take the wrap off, see what it got. All right, let's take these clips off. Nice and easy. All right, so with the wrap, it's kind of funky. You gotta spread it nice and easy. And then we're going to come up here, we're going to rip it off like a band-aid, nice and quick, just like that. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to come on top, put just some black just right there. So you can see the slight transitions, got a little bit of the... The light blue faded into the dark blue. All right. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to paint with some black. Just this flat spot, really. This flat spot right here. And I might just go over just a little bit over the edge. And I'm going to black out around the face. All right, here we go. 
So we're gonna get around the eyeball just slightly, just slightly around the eye. Nice and easy. No need to rush it. All right. All right. All right, time to put the eyes on. So I like to super glue them. I'm using the uh, regular old silver eyes this go round. All right, so let's put a dab. Super glue on him. Let's put a little bit of the, uh, the eyeball on. Move it around, get it in there nice and good. Flip it over. Another dab. Put it on. There we are. Got a little touch up work to do. It happens. Alrighty, time to do the dip, the hard code on it. Uh, this is KBS Diamond Clear Code. I love it. Um, I like to do two codes on it. So, for instance, I'll dip it now. I'll hang it up, let it do its drip, and then I do another one in the morning, basically, so 12 hours or whenever. Um, but you want to give it a chance to harden, get a hardened shell on it. So let's do this. I'm going to go in nice and easy, nice and slow. And when you're doing this, if you do a large mounts, you want to be careful because eventually it'll start getting air bubbles in. I'll let it sit for a couple seconds, pull it out. So, also, if you let it drip like this, uh, and you do a large amount of them, eventually you're going to get air bubbles in it, so you want to just kind of move it to the side, um, because the air bubbles itself will get caught in, like, the eyes, or the little gills, or the scales. Um, but I love the KBS because it covers the bill and everything. Um, there's two other ways. I do a um, two-ton epoxy which then I take the KBS and I do the bill. It just depends if I want sparkles or anything in it or if I'm doing a, um, a broke back that shifts and swings. So here's code number one. And then I'll do code number two. Here's the wrap up to this video. I uh, just wanted to say thanks for sticking around and watching me do this. This is after uh, the first code of the KBS. So, hope you all have a good day and get out there and rip some lips.